All right, it looks like we are good to go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the stream. I am your host, Adam. I'm one of the engine support techs up at Epic Games. Uh, so when you go onto the Answer Hub or forums, typically you are talking to one of my department if you are getting an answer from Epic. Um, this stream is dedicated towards blueprint scripting landscape foliage BSPs. However, I do dabble in materials and recently started to get back into AI. So if you have any questions, which is the primary purpose of this stream, is to answer questions that you may have. If you have any, please post them into chat and I will try to get the, to them as I see them. Unfortunately, you know, things happen, but I will try to get to them as quickly as possible. In the meantime, we typically work on just random things that I kind of come up with uh, throughout the day, and today I decided I'm going to work on uh, equipment and equipables and stuff like that, because I haven't done too much with that and I thought it'd be interesting. Um, so for those of you who know, this was kind of our newest in our 2D templates because I had to recreate our 2D template which had been uh, unfortunately lost during the tragic computer meltdown of two weeks ago. Um, very dramatic I know. But this is our, our new thing and this is where I'm going to be doing the work in it just because I already have stuff set up and I'm lazy. So I don't feel like creating a whole nother project to test this. Now, I'm going to Remove this. And the way I'm going to do this, I want to check what bones we have made available, and if they aren't in the place I want them, then I will move them around accordingly. Uh, let's see. Character, mannequin, character, mesh. Here we go. So, I wanted to go ahead and get our lovely skeletal mesh open into the persona editor, and now we are in the skeletal mesh editor can see kind of see show where are you show bones okay so we've got a lower arm bone that works uh, let's see I want to make a list of what bones we need so I'm gonna move this off to the side sorry you won't be able to read the the notepad I've got here but we're I'm gonna see so Really? Oh, that's... Okay, so... Lower arm, R. Lower arm, L. Upper arm, R. Upper arm, L. Hand, R. Hand, L. Head, And, okay, so it should be noted that uh, these are not going to be the uh, the greatest things in the world. It's going to be very much, uh, you know, attach. The, this is mostly to, to test several theories that I have. Um, so it may not look the best, but if anything, I can move them to sockets, which we can add in. It's, it's pretty easy to do. I mean, be like, let's see, uh, let's see, I can go into the here, add socket, boom. As you can see, and actually that might be the best thing to do. So I'm gonna let's see where's root pelvis spine 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 going to add a socket here and we're going to call this chest and we're going to move this to about right there oh that'll be fine it's not perfect um, obviously but it'll work so chest and let's see, don't need the clavicle, need the upper arm, add socket, shoulder, L, And I'm going to 
take this and go like that. That's where it's going to be. And we're going to call, call this. Hmm. Let's call it. That, sure, we'll call it bicep. Whatever. I don't care if that's medically accurate right now. <laughs> hey, bloody Bobby, how you doing? And I'm going to make a socket and call it hand L. And I'm going to need to make one for lower arm twist. We'll call this bracer. Yeah, I don't care about that part. Okay, so that's that. And then we just need to do the same thing over here. Socket. That's shoulder R. Add socket, bicep R. And R. R. Boom. Hit the hand. Now I want to move this outside of the of the actual thing we got going on here. Ah! Okay, where's my speed here? Slow that down a little bit so I can control a little bit better. I want it to be about right there. And the reason is I don't want it connected to the wrist. Or at least not directly. Uh, so what we're doing, uh, Bobby, is I'm actually adding sockets to the skeleton so that we can start working on a uh, little equipment system that I'm putting together um, just for funsies. That's pretty much it. <laughs> see, hand, bicep. Um, it's not going to be anything special yet because I'm not using any um, any model stuff that actually is supposed to work here. It's going to be like boxes and stuff that uh, that I just use because that's what I've got available. <laughs> um, let's see, boom, and we'll stick with that for now. So we've got. All that, and then shoulder, hand, bicep, and bracer, L. And I want to make sure I get all this for R. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Now this is going to look really silly, just so you know. But, initial concept. Blueprints, boom, let's create a helmet. Oh, I guess I should, where's my head? Head, add socket, I'm gonna move that way up here. And call it helmet. And right here, we're going to get a cube, flatten it, actually, instead of a cube, let's go with a cylinder. Boom. Then I'll get another cylinder. Let's see, let's go with point six five.
Boom. There we go. Got that parented under that. Uh, yeah, that that was uh, that's definitely a, a possibility. I don't really feel like messing with BSPs right now, unless anyone has a specific question about them. Just because it like it's so frustrating. Um, not big on the frustrating part. <laughs> uh, let's see, sphere collision. And... But if anyone has a specific question about BSPs, I can go into BSPs. I just you know, it's it, it's on um, what you guys need. Uh, let's see, overlap all dynamic, and then we're going to grab whatever that. Okay. No, I. Uh, need this to have no collision. This to have no collision. Yeah, uh, it, it's nothing like specific, it's just BSPs can be really annoying, <laughs> and I'm being lazy today. I've had a very long day. Um, let's see, boom, add event collision, on component begin, overlap, cast, two sides, scroller character, boom, and attach actor to mesh. And socket name helmet. Get boom. Snap to target. Keep world scale. And here we're going to destroy component sphere. That way we can't overlap it again. Now I don't know if this is going to work, so we're going to find out. And let's see, where is this? Oops, it's the x value that I need. Boom. Walk over this. <laughs> nice. Now my question is, why? Oh, why? Boom. Including scale. Let's do that first. Whoa. Okay. Let's not include scale, because that was silly. Okay. Snap to target. Now. at least let's see here why wonder okay so I need to check my helmet those are not First, the entire thing needs to be scaled by about 0.5. First and foremost, too big. So now, apparently it just really does not like the whole not being massive thing, but that's okay. <laughs> 